Rita Gancha, Maraj, Varabotos, Sinti Bagana, Jason Ryan. Oh, this old Nelly, other Jarisha. This old Tinoki, other Jarisha. Sinti Bagana, Jason Ryan. Vala Gansha Maharaj, Vala Guruji, Vala Santo, and Vala Hari Bhakta. Sarji Bhagana Jai Swainar. Santa Krupa Sukha Upaje, Santa Krupa Sare Kama, Santa Krupa Di Pamiye Purana Pusho Tamadama, Shacha Sangati Santa Che, Jano Jivana Jagamaya. Bhava Sagana Mahabhurata Sacha Santa Kareesh Sahaya Avarano Jiya Vatare Evo Nathaya Varama Varre Nathi Avani Ava Sukhya Thire So Jana Jana Juman Mathire Jai Swainar Jai Swami Narayan, Supreme Lord Swami Narayan, Ar Puja Guruji, Santo, and Loya Damparivar Bhakto. Tirth Bhagat Na Jai Swami Narayan. Today I'd like to tell you the story of fish brought back to life. One day in Chapaya, Gansham called out to his friends, Veni, Madhav, and Prag, and proposed, let us go to Mean Lake for a bath. The friends were delighted. The four of them went to Mean Lake. A bunion tree stood on the banks of the lake. The boys changed their clothes in the shadow of the tree. Meanwhile, Gunsham's eyes fell upon a lone fisherman. He was catching fish and putting them in a basket. Gunsham saw a pile of fish in the basket. His heart bled at the sight of so many dead fish. He willed that the fish became alive again. As soon as he had wished, the fish came to life and leapt back into the water. The fisherman became very angry. He rushed towards Gansham to beat him up. Gansham thought the arrogance of a proud man must be dissolved. The one who kills living creatures must be punished. So he took the form of Yam Raja. Yam Raja's appearance was frightening and awesome. He had a big mustache, sharp protruding teeth, blood red eyes, and a long tongue that hung out of his mouth. He had 18 hands, each armed with a different weapon, a sword, a spear, a trident, etc. The fisherman became terrified at the sight of Yam Raja. His hands and legs began to tremble. Perspiration ran down his face and body. Yam Raja showed him a vision of hell and the punishments that await the wicked and sinful Yampuri. Then he got him soundly thrashed by his attendants. The fisherman's bones ached as he screamed in pain. Please save me. Please let me go. The fisherman had finally realized his mistake. He prayed to Gansham and asked for forgiveness. But my bones are all leaking. I am frightened and shiver all over when I think of Yampuri and the terrors of hell. I have made a mistake. Please forgive me. I shall not henceforth kill fish. You are God incarnate. Please set me free from my past sins. So saying, he prostrated before Gansham. Gansham blessed him and let him go. The moral we learned from this story is never kill any living creatures to please Gansham Maharaj because killing is a very big sin. Joy Swaminara. Jai Swaminara. Supreme Lord Swaminara in our Pujya Guru Jai Darlo Vedam Pariva Bhakto. Ayush Bhagna Jai Swaminara. Today I would like to tell you a story about our Pujya Guru Jai. The title of the story is Puja Guruji's Humility. Once our Puja Guruji was doing Seva in Goshala in Gandhari Gurukul. At that moment, a general building contractor from a reported construction company from the city of Varodhra came to visit Puja Guruji. He had never met Puja Guruji before, but he had just heard of his name as one of the leading saints in our Swaminarayan Sampradaya. He had, uh, when he, when the contractor parked his car, he saw Puja Guruji sweep the grounds of the Goshala, where the cow dung and hay spread all over the ground. The contractor did not recognize Puja Guruji, who was doing seva on the Goshala. 
At that point, the thought did not occur in his mind that the saint who was doing seva in the Koshala was the very saint he came to meet. So then the conductor went to the administrative office and asked about where he could meet Puja Guruji. Then the office boy went to Puja Guruji in the Koshala and informed about the unknown person waiting for him in the office. So after Puja Guruji, washing his hands and feet, went to the office to meet that person. In the meeting room, the contractor became surprised and asked Puja Guruji, Are you really the founder and head of this organization? Because when I parked my car, I saw you sweeping the grounds of the Goshala. Yes, I am, Puja Guruji said. Here, our system is that even the head does seva. In addition, my guru is the Mahant of many big temples, yet he still did seva in Goshala too. Hence, I like to do seva in Goshala too, because to do seva is a saint's main goal. More of this story is always remain humble and do seva to please Gansha Maharaj. Jai Swami Narayan.